morning, good evening, welcome to the Tuesday edition of the show. It's a lifestyle, you know, um, all things wonderful edition of the show, social issues, all of that. Today on the show, we will start our segment on love and marriage and relationships before we get into, you know, um, the other segment. I trust you have an amazing weekend. I have. I hope that we'll have a lovely time, as always, on the show tonight. Our topic for conversation is gender equality in marriages. I'll say that again. Gender equality. Equality in marriages, the first step. There's a caveat. This is just the first step. The first step. What it means is that there will be other steps and other conversations to be had subsequently. Today, we look at the first step. My guests with me in the studio to have this conversation with me are Mr. Dixon Entry. He is CEO Marriage Link. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Exquisite. <laughs> We also have with us the ever gorgeous counselor perfect Udro. She's the you know counselor psychologist you know with marriage link. Hello, hello. So I'm cutting very short. Oh, hello, 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 hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to have you back. It's great to have you back. Now today you are taking us to school, oh. so you are taking us straight to <coughs> UN, UN, right? And the seventeen key goals yeah. the sdgs and we are focusing on sdg five. five my favorite that's my favorite my favorite you know women empowerment emancipation all things great and wonderful mm -hmm. this concept that what a man can do a woman can do the concept that we are all equal that you know fundamentally yeah. we are all human and we can all contribute meaningfully to build this world that's what i love now, our conversation, however, <laughs> I know where you're going, girl. <laughs> our conversation, however, is about the first step mm -hmm. in any relationship, mm -hmm. and you know we are going to have a conversation around wh whether that takes into account gender equality, whether that is helpful or not, how society has made it culturally, and all of that, and how you come in as marriage link to kind of balance yeah. the skills. So let's take it all the way to the top. Traditionally, traditionally, you know, and of course the first step means finding a partner. Yeah. That's the first step before we even get into the mind. Yeah. Traditionally, how are we set up when it comes to genders? How, yeah. how, 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 are we, how is it supposed to play out in finding a partner? How does your gender, you know, feature? In all this. So, if I may, please yeah. take the first shot. Right? Yes, <laughs> take the lead. Yeah, take. We do. Let's just take one step back and put the SDG in context, right. so that those um, viewers who may not have the full uh, context may get to know where we are coming from. Sometime in 2015, right. the world came together in New York and agreed that for any country to develop any society to develop, any family to develop, there are certain key uh, things that need to happen. And these run from political to social to economic and all kinds of things. So they set out 17 main goals that each country must pursue. And they call these the SDGs, Sustainable Development Goals, that each country must pursue if you want to move from poverty to a society where people feel comfortable. Now, of these 17, goal number five talks about equality and women empowerment. Yes. And I think those discussions at the time recognized that oftentimes there was a lot of discrimination between men and women. Even now in football, it has been a hot issue where when we get to women World Cup, the money that is given to the winners is not the same as that which is given to the men. And there have been all kinds of discussions about it. Then when you come even to workplaces, it used to be the case that the same work done by both man and woman, the man will earn more than the woman. Mm. And even in the US, until recently, in the I think early 60s or so, women could not even vote. Right. So the history of inequality has taken a long time and it cuts across everywhere. And that is why the world leaders decided to say, 
if you want to develop in our respective countries, we need to ensure that we break that barrier. Now, if we bring it down home here to Ghana, we're saying that what we've made progress, myself and your good self, if we are working and we are all directors, we probably will earn the same. In some cases, you earn more. Uh, these days, those of you who are uh, lucky and have had the benefit of higher education, you expect that the man will help you in the home, do a little things here and there to complement what you are doing. So sometimes you have the man, uh, the woman cooking, the man will be standing by washing and uh, doing the dishes, right? But one area where we find that the issue of equality has been missing, and indeed that is the most important area in life, and that has to deal with relationships, marriage. Every creature, apart from maybe trees, and we don't know, maybe trees, they communicate, but we know the animals, they marry, they date, they mate. How much more human beings? So you watch the uh, wild uh, National Geographic and those you know, channels, and you see how the tigers, they protect their territory. If you cross into somebody's territory, it becomes a war. Even, excuse me, dogs, they know who is dating and who is married. Who. So if you are not careful and you cross the wrong path, it, sheep, goats, everybody is dating and marrying. How about human beings? So it's fundamental. Without love making, without dating, without marriage, what would be the benefit of love, uh, a life? See, so when, for instance, let me make this joke that they say, when you go to heaven, in heaven, there's no even no marriage, you will wake up in my church. She goes to my, we attend the same church. So you'll be singing, the land is full of gold, everything. Then somebody's like, ah, so you can't get a girl or a wife to marry. <laughs> How can you be enjoying? Just be singing and singing. <laughs> well, let's assume that is true. But really, I don't want to be in a situation where it will all be gold. If you're working on gold, it means gold has no value. All right. This gold that you are buying small to put there's a lot of milk as well. And milk, so I don't know how it yeah, is going to be milk, enjoying. Milk and fruits. And, and fruits. And vegetation. So you, you enjoy it. Enjoy with somebody. Yeah. Pick a straw with somebody you love. Yeah, you have to and enjoy and be hugging and you know, <laughs> that is what adds <laughs> value to life, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, the point I'm making is that when it comes to that most important area in life, right. the conversation around equality is missing. Right. And I explained that by saying that, take Ghana, I as a man, between my office to this place, I could take a stroll and on the way propose to 10 women. Mm. I meet you and so you look pretty. Mm. Can I have your number? I would like to marry you or whatever, mm. whether I'm serious or not, right? Mm. But how many women can meet men? And also approach them and say, guy, I'm in love with you. Mm. I want to marry you. Mm. So right there, you see the inequality. And that is why we are here on this topic. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. And this is, this is so funny for me. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so see you is advocating for gender equality across the board, yeah. where women can meet a man and say to him, hey, I like your eyes. Can I have your number? <laughs> that's, that's what you're saying. Precisely. All right. L let me hear you. Um, very good. You are spoken. <laughs> but you collecting a number, they are contacts. You becoming friends. It's OK. Mostly, you can even request for a guy that you think you have some connection with their number, just to be friends, talk and all that. But to take things serious, you can't propose love straight to them that, I love you. I think I'm falling for you. So I want us to start a relationship and see how far it's going to go. If it happens that everything is okay, then we can decide to get married. If it's not, then at least we let's give it a try. It's not mostly permitted. If we're a lady and you start doing that, before I realize, you'll be played. You see, it's a man who marries a lady. So you can't tell a man that I want to marry you. No. With how things are structured, society, and even how we are made, 
we are at the receiving end of good things. And sometimes things are sometimes which are not Listen, so good. It's, it's, it's good that you classified the <laughs> good things. You're not the receiving end of things. No, good, good things. things. I so like that. Receiving the, end. Yes, of good, good things. things. Good so you need to. Only you, you are coming to marry me. <laughs> you understand? I can't marry a man. Oh, no. But no, you can me. I can give you the idea right. that. I'm ready. Marry me. You see, as ladies, we have subtle ways. So mostly, we advise that don't go straight by and kneel down and have a ring and tell a guy, you understand. Some do that. You see them say, wow, it's not feminine enough. We have a lot of ways to do it. Like something wow Delilah, that. you see, Delilah was <laughs> able to, the strongest man ever lived, to reduce him to nothing. Right. With just the tricks, laying the head and the drinks and all that, Samson was weak. So there's a lot of ways to kill a cat. You can use subtle ways to let him know that I'm ready. If you don't marry me, you'll be losing me to somebody else. So we hurry up to marry you. But you see, as we are saying, we are at a, a disadvantage when it comes there. So you need to wait, 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 wait for that man to come along. And sometimes to the men that comes along, they are not your type. They are actually not what you are looking for. Although we are waiting for somebody to come to propose, that doesn't mean that we just want just anybody and just any man. No, we also have our type. So you will come and say that, no, you are not our type. Maybe you want the tall, dark, with the hair, you the beard, you want certain type of work that the person is doing, how even the car, the apartment they live, how they smell. And we have a lot of things that we look before we say yes. You'll be there and you can't say it, and the ones that are coming are not the ones that, that you want that, to say that, yes that, to. That's that the conversation. Yes. That, that's the conversation. So it, bec it, it becomes a challenge. But a challenge. That, 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 let, let, let's, let's think about this. Let's go back a little bit. We know that culturally, it is not acceptable for a mm. woman to go chasing a man. It is not culturally acceptable. So this society frowns on it. Yeah. I want us to start from there. Yeah. Why? Then we'll come to my generation, yeah. right? My emancipated, <laughs> liberated generation. And, and why we also have an issue with it. So let's start from the yeah. culturally. Why do you think that culturally this society frowns on that bold woman who can say to a guy, you, me check you. Okay, so you would notice that society has been evolving over time mm. and at the beginning you find families marrying meaning that you might not even know the person that you are going to marry but your parents will go and fish out the pers another person in the community and tell you that I'm a, a brand new penis mesiba investigation Sabi Adambo be a new Busiano, Omi Juma, a branch and a camera, saying, Say, one in a person or no. You have little say. But now that scenario has moved on. But the concept that the man is the head of the family still mm. permeates everything we do. Biblically, God created the man and the woman and if you look at how it happened the man was to fend for the woman when we are told that there was an apple which i think is not apple but it was sex but the pastors have a different that uh, yeah 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 i mean i tell the truth am i you think there was an apple that was hanging there somebody went to eat they were they just had my i believe they went to have sex and became aware that they had something they needed to cover up and that's how now god said oh so you people have become wise enough and the punishments were two the man was to go and till the land bring food to come and feed the family and the woman's punishment was to carry the baby from that time on the man has been the head of the family because we are told that it is from the one rib or something was taken to right. So obviously right. it means that, you know, I'm the stronger party. And if you look at it physically and all of that, men have always been the stronger parties. And that also could go back to the very early days where human beings were just wandering about in the forest, 
the, 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 the strongest can always take over whatever is there. If you have food, I can use my strength. So men have dominated all the time till now. And I think that is what informed the idea that the man should be the one also taking the initiative to marry a woman into the house and serving as the head of the family. Because the head, you, the lady who is coming to uh, be part of the family, not as the head, you probably will not be the one going to bring the other person in. Right. But in recent times, Councillor Perfect was saying that there are subtle ways. For me, if, for instance, you started inviting me, oh, can we go for lunch? Today I'm lonely. Can we go for coffee? Why is it that you don't call me? Those are signals yeah. that, you know, uh, portray the fact that the woman wants the man to say yeah. something. I kind of like you. But sometimes, I like you. some men mm -hmm. will pretend they don't even see what you are doing, right? Mm -hmm. They just, you know, go round, 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 round. Because they don't like you. Yeah. Exactly. Is that simple? Yeah. And that's where now the issue of equality is uh, becoming central to the conversation. Right. Why should the woman not be empowered? To be able to tell that man that I like To be able to go you. and go for what they want. Ha. Okay. Instead of waiting <laughs> for things to come to them, and then they will be weighing, this is good, this is not good, this one. You can sit there. Why do you have to sit down? Make the move. Move. Yeah, go for but, it. But, 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 but I think that, see, you answered the question. You asked yeah. the question and answered the question yourself. <laughs> because, like um, Councillor was saying, women tend to give hints. That's why we shoot yeah. our shot. Right? You give hints. Yeah. When you see him, you relate with him differently from the way you relate with everybody and, yeah. else. Maybe I look and, nice to you. That's a, that's a thing. That's, 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 that's second that's, guessing, eh? <laughs> Men <laughs> always pick on the hints when they when are they also like, like you. The when lady. they also like when they are also attracted when the, to you. When the man doesn't like, like you, you can hint him from here to he cook all the jollof rice and things yes, like that. You just eat and go. He will yes. friends on you and sisters on you yeah. and mothers on so you. It won't work. They start using mm -hmm. sister. Exactly. Yeah. But then why would you now, upon all of this, now go ahead and go and propose to him? Me, I no. you that he doesn't like so you. the point is that if the one you're interested in is not you know uh, giving the right feedback it's not reciprocating why can't you then learn from that lesson and next time you see somebody you're interested just in just go straight that's don't be what, cooking jollof don't be okay. going around I, that's the, the 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 point i want to get to right to say society must come to the level where equality means equality in everything right what a man can do, a woman should be able, to, woman do. Should be able to And the first step in a marriage relationship is to find. Right. Before you move to prepare. Right. Then after prepare, you organize. Right. Then you organize, you sustain. These are the four steps that at Marriage Link, we, you know, see as going through, right. I mean, uh, being the foundation of marriage right. or the pillars. Right. So the find, the first step, that's where the equality must start. Women must find the men too. The women must also be able to find the men. Uh, absolutely. How do we view the woman when she goes finding? Because some women have been brave yeah. enough, right? I've, yeah. I've had conversations. Actually, I've been at a wedding where the man kind of was saying that she came on to me. Yeah. Right? So, but then let's not forget that we are social beings. Yeah. Even today, let me find today's date and mention as well. <laughs> <laughs> Today, the twentieth, is it? Yes, of February, twenty twenty-four. Yeah. Right, with all the education that we have and all the number of degrees that yeah. we have, let me speak about myself. Mm -hmm. Right, we still have perceptions about the woman who goes to the man and proposes. So let's start from there. How does society see you as a woman if you go and say to a man? You see, society itself. Let's narrow it to the male gender. If a female and you think you like him and everything, he's the type that you want, and you go straight to propose to him without doing your check, doing the subtle, the ones that we are saying, use the pointers. If he likes you, he's going to respond fast because for them, they want the thing already. But if you are bold, you go, and sometimes they don't like you. 
we have those ones, the bad ones that are going to use that and as an opportunity to use you. They don't like you, but since you came, hey, she said it. So you are going to rather be the one providing more in the relationship. When I'm saying providing, not just the monetary aspect, but the emotional aspect, you are going to provide more. Since now you are the chaser. But men mostly like to chase. They like to do the hunt. If you turn it upside down, they will have a feel of you. Then the adrenaline, the uh, dopamine starts to slow down. They are not that much into it again. Because maybe you wanted it, but they don't really want it. But how you came on to them, some are shy. They can't just say no. So they want to be with you for a while so that they can just let you down slowly. Some will use that opportunity just to have you and do whatever they want. And the good ones will just tell you no. And some too, you can have some percentage, some zero, zero point something percent who will just say that it's okay. I also like you, so let's have something doing. But it's always best that with how they are psychology, how they are formed, how they think. And one thing is, it hasn't changed since time memorial. That is the same thing we think. We use technology and all that, but mostly how we think as humans, as a woman, as a man, hasn't changed that much. We Just as we are wired genetically, that's how we are. So it's best that you don't use that straight approach, but rather use the modernized approach that we'll be talking to. That will help you. So it's going to solve that problem of you not going straight to tell him. But rather we are coming to empower you so that I use that medium. So you will not feel like I came on to you to tell you anything. Mm. It's just technology that we are using to help the two of you to meet. So it's not like I said anything or you are saying anything. We are using technology to help. So it's, going, it's solving the problem of you wanting somebody, but you can't say it because of culture, because of our makeup and all that. But rather, it's helping the two to uh, meet. But you see, as a woman, one major thing is the man comes in as a provider. The man comes in as a protector. The man comes in, when you talk about the religious aspect, he's quite the priest of the home. So you going in, it's like, I'm coming in as the... You are coming with masculine energy. Yes. But you are feminine. And one thing I always say is, you can't, if you are in your feminine energy, you can attract all what you want to attract, not just being a masculine. But if you don't try, if you try soft to lift power, the soft power, that one is more effective. But if you try, if you don't have that masculine protecting you, you try to take the masculine energy more. And you get to a time, your other partner, the male partner, will not appreciate you that much. You think we are doing more, but he doesn't see that in you. Because as you are attracted to the masculine, he being the man, he embodying the masculinity and everything, you also need to be the softer side. And I always use Delilah. Mostly people use Delilah and Jezebel for bad, the ending part. But I realized that they were able to handle this men well. They were able to handle the men well using their softness, using how they talk to them, using the things that they know that they like. So you need not to have all the shoulder and armor to go to war before you can win a nation. You just can win the one who is leading. Then all of them will just serve you. This is how God created us. And I think our power is more strong. So now in into our conversation, we want to help our clients. We want to help Ghanaians. We realize that we have a pe peculiar issue here. Empowerment. Helping women to also be both, to have the equal play. In work is there, in the pay industry is there. But when it comes to relationship aspects, we realize that this, especially Ghanaians and our society and all that, people laugh at you. If you walk on or when there's an issue, then they'll be throwing that about. We want, we want to eradicate that. Absolutely. Yes. So we are helping the UN to, to establish that, to be able to right. overcome that challenge. Right. So we have a technology. We'll come there. Yeah. We'll come there. Okay. I, 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 we'll come Let to the specifics. <laughs> I, I, I need you to pause. So, so essentially, what we are saying is that today's woman shouldn't sit down waiting to be selected. Yes. Today's woman should be able to also select. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because once you are constantly sitting and waiting to be selected, your options are limited. Yeah. The wrong 
men would keep trying to yeah. and you have to choose from a very limited scope yeah. which always leaves us at the mercy of the men yes you know, I mean, as I sit here, I should be able to choose the kind of man that I want. Right? Which you have? You have already. <laughs> well, <I'm saying. laughs> right? But, but, but the so <laughs> <laughs> somebody calls, somebody who no, yeah, no, 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 no. was interviewing <laughs> you on TV, yeah. please. <laughs> I don't want Thales to be asking that you question. You don't want any trouble. Yeah, <laughs> Please, I take it back. <laughs> no, no, but the point I'm making is that as women, we should also be able to say that I want this type of man. Yeah. I want that type of man. We should be able to get it. Because yeah. as it stands now, we are limited to the men who approach us. Mm -hmm. We have to choose from those who want us. Yeah. But they are saying that we should be able to reach out of that scope. Yeah. Maybe... Only a certain type of men want you. But you don't want those type yeah. of men. You're able to be able to move out of that box yeah. and expand your options, which is what this conversation essentially yes. is about. Right. Indeed. Right. Let's uh, make one important point. We, we say that generally the men take the initiative. And women have been somewhat a bit passive. And she puts it nicely. They are recipients of good things. Very good things. I will ask her later <laughs> on. <laughs> now, let's make the point also, which is that there are men who, for some reasons, are unable to even approach them. They are women. shy. No? In fact, we have many men in our system who are looking for wives. And not that they are bad looking or they don't have good jobs. So there comes a, a point where both parties may want to settle, but as to how they're able to take that importance that becomes the issue. So there are men, some they even get scared. They see these women in the air conditioned cars looking gorgeous, and the first conclusion is that, oh, she's not available who am i to even approach and then you also have perceptions if i want to go out with this lady i probably have to be thinking of some moving pick or tank palace or somewhere but some of them are just real ordinary normal ladies so the men we used to call them afraid man get so scared they can't approach them and the women too don't have the gravitas the courage to be able to approach the men. So they just the everybody, everybody sitting there everybody somewhere. Everybody sitting there everybody somewhere. Sitting there somewhere. <laughs> and that's why we're saying that with technology now, it should be possible for you to cross that difficult bridge mm. and get what you want without having to wait and rely on the old age you know strategy mm -hmm. of a man coming to knock on your door and say mm -hmm. I don't know yes yeah, so we're going to lie lie means you're going to lie to somebody right mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. to the day they be there to three mama your day and to avoid that no stay up and say yes yeah, this is me mm -hmm. you know and then you see that person is very attractive this is what i want mm -hmm. for myself by way of a man and that's where we are going to go to, how we are helping to achieve that. Absolutely. So ultimately, that UN uh, SDG Go 5, that talks of equality, we are saying, is missing on the point of equality when it comes to the very important area of life. Which is finding. Finding a life partner. Because the animals, they, I don't know how they communicate, but I suspect that for them, they just see and they jump on it. Human beings is not like that. Hmm. So perhaps... You and if you are listening to us, come, let's sit down and have a conversation. How do we empower women in the real sense of life? Actualizing. Yeah. Actualize that goal. It's not just about the salary. Mm. Many women are employers. I'm not in court, are sitting yeah. here employing people. They're employing men. Yeah. So you can't come and talk of equality when the lady is rather employing. the employer. Mm. What is important is the marriage side. How do we break that barrier? to make it easy for women to also go for what they want. Because many women are weeping in their rooms. They don't know how to go about it. They can also go, not, they can't go and advertise on uh, social media and put their photo. 
and say yes uh, madam so, so, so i'm ready any man who wants that is death trap <laughs> <laughs> desperation yes and no man wants a desperate no, no, woman no. yes mm. and the men too who are suffering they are also desperate who also want certain caliber of women but are unable to approach them maybe they didn't go to good schools so they don't have to those who were, of us went to boys schools in those days, if you have to meet the Wesley girls, you know, you have to dress nicely and put on your best behavior. Mm. Whereas those who went to miss schools, it was very easy for them. Mm. So that is a challenge that we have to deal with right, now. Right, right. I, I, I love this conversation. I completely do. And before we start, I gave my bias. Yeah. I am one of those women who do not advocate for women chasing men. Yeah. You know, I feel that relationships and marriages already disadvantaged women as it is yeah. already by itself by the way it's a setup culturally mm -hmm. already the woman is disadvantaged already mm -hmm. even the man that has come to chase you for three years <laughs> and finally gets you even yeah. him he's a problem yeah. and the one that you went to chase, chase. <laughs> so why don't you change, change the word right instead yeah. of say, using the word chase because ch uh, words matter right if you say a man is chasing a woman or vice versa mm. It means the person is doing everything with all the desperation. Here we are not necessarily talking about chasing, chasing. the man. Right. We are saying that go for what you want in a very nice way. Mm. Don't wait and sit back until you are uh, late 30s, mid 40s, 50s, and no man has come. No man of your liking. Yeah. Because I think that for women, men come every yeah. year. The problem becomes that the men who come are not the kind of men you mm. want. My dear, some that, that, they that's don't the problem. Mm. That, that, <laughs> I, I think that's the problem. Because yeah. most men will say, if it's about marriage, oh, I've been married 20 years yes. ago. Yeah. It's about the kind of man. man. So now let's come to marriage link. Yes. Let's come straight home. Right? Mm. Yeah. How is marriage link helping? to actualize this wonderful empowerment that is so crucial because that's the most important step finding the right partner yeah. i think and once you find the right man half your battles are gone yeah so that's the most important thing in any relationship in any marriage in, in that's the most important the right person finding yeah, the right that person. is the very meanwhile that part is completely taken away from the woman it's yes. only the man that is finding yeah the woman is waiting to be found yeah so I love this conversation, I have to say. Can't you see how excited I am? I can see. I love the conversation. How is marriage link actualizing such that we can also go and find the right one? So I start and then you can come in. Yeah. Okay. okay, so um, you know, these days, Councillor Perfect made a point that we have to be able to take advantage of technological innovations to solve age-old societal problems, right? And there are many ways people are going to Facebook, I, dating sites, uh, Instagram DM. Yes, Afro <laughs> women or whatever Afro, Afro dating. But somebody landed a husband there. Well, well, in every situation, there are chances. I even uh, could have landed one here if Farmer was not. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so uh, there are several opportunities right. out there, but then. How many women of repute would want to go and post their photos on Facebook yeah. and say, I'm ready to look for a husband? In fact, if you're a known person, either in the church, in the community, the next day the bloggers have need to chew. <laughs> and the other risk associated there with is you cannot even be sure that the photo that you are seeing on Facebook or the dating site is really that person. And we have heard stories of people who have met online having their first, you know, a dating appointment only to discover that the person they thought they were interacting with is not really that person. It can even lead to death, kidnap, and all kinds of... And that is why now we say, let us register a company governed by the laws of Ghana that will solve that problem using technology. So it starts with a person coming to register. And thankfully, this is not humanitarian service. I always have to be clear. It's not a church service. It's a business service. So you register, you pay a fee. 
and when you register you fill a form that describes you at that point there's nobody there for you to lie to you're only saying this is me this is my age this is where i come from this is my genotype i've been married before or i've not never married i have this number of kids this is where i stay i have family my parents are alive and all of that i stay with this person so you tell the truth about yourself then the person that you want to associate with by way of marriage you also fill a form on that person to say if you want to marry me i want somebody of this age group earning around this living here having this genotype i don't want somebody with kids or i want somebody with kids all kinds of things the key things that matter in a relationship ethnicity and all of that so once that is done our special computer system then comes around amongst those that have been registered with us to say who suits this client's profile mm. so if assuming uh, let me take a man who has registered wanting a wife with some specifications the computer will look through the database and pick those who meet you either fully or partially and oftentimes so far we haven't had a hundred percent hundred percent means that everything you wanted in the woman is this person no it doesn't work and that's why compromises come in when you're talking about marriages right so it will rank or rate it to say uh counselor perfect meets me dixon 80 percent in these areas there's uh, uh consonants there's agreement in these other 20 percent there's a variation maybe i wanted a dark looking lady and she's chocolate, chocolate right dark chocolate. i wanted maybe a newe and she's not a newe maybe she's a fancy so those will be the variations now once that is done because we don't post people's photos and we are dealing with people who are high in society we don't post anybody's photos for so you will not even know who has been matched to you our client service then will call and say, Mr. Susan, and so you wanted a woman of this and that and that and that and that and that, you know, profile. We have somebody who matches you about 50 or 60 percent. They meet you in this and that and that area, except that maybe age wise, the one you wanted, we don't have enough of that. Then they will talk to the lady also. So our staff get involved immediating until the two people say oh okay i think we can give it a shot we'll take it from here then we set up a call because you see these are confidential matters mm. we have bank managers we have people of high class so we don't want to mess up with anybody's you know um uh, information mm. once we set up the call ideally we even prefer that they meet in our office the first time but if they opt to meet in a public place maybe the mall whatever we can agree that one is a decision between the two now if you want to see the other person's photo it must be mutual the same way you the woman wants to see the man's photo you must be willing that we will also share the other photo share your photo with the yes man. so it, it's a process because we are talking of marriage we are not talking about dating and remember we have said on this program that if it's dating, anything goes, so long as a nice looking lady. But all that glitters is not gold. Right. Is what I'm saying, may not necessarily be gold. Right. So then that is how we enable people, the women who are unable to meet people they want, the men who are either scared or don't have the courage to approach, they all come into our system that way and we find a way of matching them. Right. Yeah. So what it means is that the woman, you know, has the power yeah. to state what she wants. Exactly. Yeah. You state what you want. I want a man of look, who looks like this, who earns this much, yeah. who has these values, who has these principles. Yeah. I don't want a man with children. I don't want a man who hasn't married before. I want this, I want this, yeah. I want this, I want this. A woman states everything. Yes. And it is now your duty yeah. to find her what she requested for. Exactly. Yes. So yeah. she comes in when you found and she has to evaluate yeah. if she's not happy with you not after her three four times start the you, you give her again. somebody else yeah. awesome oh i love this and the men yeah. too the same of course i have yeah. lawyers 
who are also seeking. Right. But for, I, men have been doing this forever. <laughs> so you are <laughs> no, men. No, for us to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Since, you know, men have been able to say, I want a woman, you know, it's and I want to. Uh, men are always the ones in the shop evaluating uh -huh. and putting down. But you so now you are fighting for the women. We've never had that. We've not been but able to yeah. choose yeah. what we want. Have but, we? Yeah, we haven't. But to make it successful, we also need the men oh, of to come so that we'll be able to match choose them. them. So that yes. we can choose them. You can, yes, choose them. <laughs> but you realize select. that <laughs> select, uh, we'll okay, be selected, select. dropping and picking and drop, all that. Drop, drop, drop. Mm, nah, don't want <laughs> <laughs> So you'll be helping. But you realize okay. that with the men to mostly when they get to certain level, it's their work, it's quite stressful and their business focus, some don't want to go through that knowing me, knowing you, and the drama and all that. And sometimes the people they are who surround, they associate themselves with, they actually don't want to marry those type of people, right? Maybe somebody is a lawyer, but they don't want that law people. They want somebody just outside. But it's difficult to meet somebody outside. You are into media, but you don't want to marry somebody who is also in media because you know the wahala. You want somebody outside. You are a medical doctor. You don't want the nurses and all that. You want somebody outside. So we come in to help. So when you look at our database, we have a lot of such credible, eligible bachelors who want to get hinge up, to get um, ladies of their choice. So you realize that what we are saying is we, we have been in the system for quite a while now. And the testimony is not that long, but the testimonies that we are having, it's quite awesome. It will be because yes. it's very practical. Yeah, it's efficient, and it it eliminates a lot of time wasting, yeah. which essentially dating is about. Yeah. You so, see, this may seem about how you have to kiss so many frogs before mm -hmm. you. Who wants to be keep kissing frogs? No, Who no, has no. time? For that so you can concentrate on the important things of your life right. than bef then we will do the search for you instead of meeting one two three and doesn't go on well knowing the genotype doesn't I have to drop them but we do all that work for you so you meet you can I still don't now have to come and ask you about what work you do yes no 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 no, no. Are, you you are you married for somebody to lie to you and then it will take another six months before, before you discover the truth and the then you find the first. next one. Some Are you married? Me? Yes, no. To discover that the man had kids. Kids in your time. And I want to. It's time. not. It's not. It doesn't limit the age. So if you are 60 years, you are a man 60, right. still you can come. Right. 50, still we can find somebody who meets what you want. What you want. And when they meet, you realize that they are happy because this is what I wanted, and you have helped me to get access to the right kind of person I have a and question. the testimonials that we have in it's quite awesome so we encourage the general public that please don't go up down be wasting your time no, and using the Facebook. WhatsApp statues to do the quits here and all that because they have ditched you come to our place you, you, you know how ladies show the available these days right you might start to with yeah. hints, hints. I'm available. <laughs> hints, hints. Right. I have a question though. My question is about confidentiality, which, which for me would be the most important yes. thing, right? Because yeah. I mean, I would, I would want this to be done for me, but I would want it to be done in such a way that I'm not shown to the world as somebody who is desperate and looking. And yeah. you know, we, we still live within a, a cultural yeah. and social setup. The woman. You, I, I think that we still need some kind of protection, yes. you know, one way or the other. So, confidentiality, let's speak about that. If I come to Marriage Link and I tell you my specifications, how sure am I that I am safe? The, the, that is what we are actually focusing on, the credibility, the confidentiality, the privacy. And so, we have even introduced another package. And we just last week, got um, some successful matches there where we're saying that you can sit and fill the form online in your office nobody's seeing what you are writing it only comes to our confidential protector system you can also walk into our office and we have a room private room where an IT person if you can't fill the form by yourself then the most recent one is the executive package. We will come to where you are. 
you, you can come to your home, your office. That is if you feel more comfortable, comfortable there. Mm -hmm. We come and have that conversation with you. Nobody even knows what we came to do. And that is a, it's a premium service. It's a bit costly, but not much. In fact, we are looking at about 1,000, 1,002. Now, if you want a good wife, or a good man for yourself, in fact, you would want to spend good yeah. money, right? If you want a good husband, 1,002 is nothing, really. Mm -hmm. So that's for the premium. That's the premium. The premium regular service. for everybody is just 500 CDs. 500 Ghana yeah. And we spend a lot of time doing background check, asking all the questions mm. to make sure nobody, you know, takes you for granted. Right. But I'm we no are speaking. Time wasting. We are speaking so much in English. If you allow me one minute, I can summarize this thing in tea. <laughs> I know you are, you are the English lady. Oh. And I can also say me the far from me. The from. But in your can you know this? I'm sure we'll be an idea and brought for no and could you say me dear no. You and for a in the C C a man may mean now say a pet. Obi C will be in a shoulder to shoulder. And they say say per se a pet and yet no monk. Our real musu here. Now I ran also begin and yet started the first step I would be nyan by wire no no. And only the most important part, so in your wrong person or life I say. When you are power in your group, you can find the wrong person. I was who you are saying. In the end, you say the company you have a marriage link. Your number is also on screen also. We here a year now pick you. Bra privacy guaranteed. No Facebook. Some no be able to say me who now when I'm happy. You know be doing combo. Me have to send it to me abroad. A year, two, 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 two. That's how many things. Wow. So. Yeah, um, yeah, um, um, <laughs> Let's allow those who cannot speak right. English to also find like. I love that. This is equality. I love that. Amma, this is equality. Eh? When I yeah, see what people, oh my goodness, I love that. But this teach is equality. Eh? Oh, please, teach me. Teach me. Charity I love begins this. from home. Of course we are talking does. of equality. Of and those are Pan African TV things. Pan yeah. African. It's allowed. Everybody deserves love. Absolutely. And so and not only the English Those things were hilly. Absolutely. Yeah. And French as well. Yeah. yeah. And French. And French. Yeah. But Pale? thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, I mean, your numbers are on the screen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And um, every now and then, people who say oh, he, she was in the kitchen cooking, so she can't see the screen. Please say it. Say the number. Say it out. Say it out. Zero <laughs> two zero. <laughs> Mm -hmm. One nine one uh -huh. nine six four two. Okay. Zero two zero one nine one right. nine six okay. four two. Right. Right. Absolutely. Okay. It's, it's in front of the screen as well. That's nine, perfect. Nine four six two. Sorry. Hey, nine four you. six two. No, no, no. We say numbers, no. Yeah. I order some numbers. Hey, you must be charity. I'm not no, but I, 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 I have enjoyed I have enjoyed um, this conversation. I, I yes, those are kind of empowerment that we want, absolutely. Yeah. So that women can also choose. So yeah. that we can also have the power to be able to, you know, make because all too often we are the mercy of the men. Yeah, you know? receiving end. Receiving end. We receiving are the mercy of the, of good, the men. Receiver, a recipient of good things. You see, we want to receive good things, right. but sometimes right. we want to be able to go for the good things that yeah, we see ourselves. We but I plead with the women, mm -hmm. especially Anna, the selection. I mean, pay women, pay women, do so. If it is marriage, really, there are certain things you should be able to compromise on. Things that will not break you. There are certain things that you should not compromise on, but there are certain petty, petty things. But men do that to us too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you see, men select. Men want your vital statistics. They are very selective. Your height, your teeth. They even look at your feet, your yeah, everything, your nails. <laughs> because men, men work even that. the hair. Some want long hair. Men do that. But men work by sight. Remember, it is how <laughs> you appear that mm. works on our mind. Women work by hearing, right? So the man is interested in looking at how you 
you know, you appear in his sight. So that is normal. But for instance, if you are somebody who is 48, wanting to marry no child, and you're able to find a person a 50-year-old, and she comes and says, oh, the person is just uh, maybe an agent, travel agent, and for me it's not good enough. There are times you have to balance between having a child if you want to have children and getting the ideal person that may never come immediately. That's the issue we are seeing. I mean, if I've waited for 40 years, I want what I want. If I've been able to wait till I'm 48, that's not the time I'm going to settle. With your Western education, <laughs> <laughs> ah, If I've waited that till I'm 48, you it's should, not that I should go yeah, for something that, that I don't want. That, that, is, that is the time you should see that. No, 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 no. That is the time I want what I want. When you are 24, 25, 26. I can compromise that, at that age. No, that is the time you get the ideal. Mm -hmm. But when you, we can discuss this another day. Yeah. Yeah. This is a whole topic yeah. of yes. At what point, mm. as a man or woman, do you get the ideal? At 48, I should come and compromise. Mostly, most people co um, compromise when the age is getting... I think it should be yeah. the other way around. No. It should be the other when way around. Your market you value the as fear. a woman is highest when you are in your mid-20s. When you are young. Yeah. When you are young. Because at that time, you have many options. Suitors coming. And in. all the people from maybe 28 up to 70 are there in the basket you can choose from. But when you get to 48, as an example, when I'm seasoned, and I'm not attacking my clients who are 48, right? I'm just using that as an at example. At when I'm seasoned and marinated, and I know no, life. At that time, the men who are so much. No, 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 no. At that time, the men who are 46, <laughs> the men who are 46, they are already right. out of your net. Right. right. So your net has shrunk. You can only catch from a limited size uh, net. Right. But the 28 has a wide net. It can catch so many. Right. So that is the trick. Yeah. But yeah. with all this, I would say that if we're a lady, just have value. Add value to yourself. Mm. Have in-depth knowledge of who you are and what you want to be. And sometimes you'll be around 40, 40 something, you can attract what actually you want to have. But mostly it's the value because some people with certain age, the value that they have, even the young ones even want to marry them. So just... You see? 48 and then 30 year old they want. Hmm. That one too. I'm there, sure no? one, somebody's working and saying, Oh, one woman, you're a woman. They are doing Thank you. They should have hope. Yeah, you saw her example, man, go for it. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank All you right. so much. Always <laughs> a pleasure. Always a but, but today our conversation has been on gender equality in marriage is the first step yeah. what it means that we'll come to the second step you will come and the third step yes. and the fourth step we'll come to know? the counseling where women they are blamed most of the time even when right. the man is at fault the woman must accept and apply oh yes. when she we'll hasn't done anything that's the second mm. step we'll come there thank you the I third like step that will be the wedding or whatever ceremony mm. who should contribute more Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. What <laughs> equality? <laughs> equality. <laughs> so thank you, uh, Mr. Dixon, MP, CEO of Marriage Link. Thank you, Councillor yeah. Perfect, who drew um, Councillor with Marriage Link, and thank you for watching. You know, um, we are not done. Actually, I was almost signing off. No, 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 we are not done. This part one of the show. Part two continues. Stay with us. Welcome back. Welcome back from the break for the second half of our conversation. Uh, the TUC, the Trade Union Congress, is in the house in keeping with all of its campaign for labor. You know, um, in this country, they have another one. Another campaign is scheduled, you know, uh, for tomorrow. They start seriously launching that campaign tomorrow. I've said campaign like three times. What campaign are we talking about? We are talking about the ratification of international labor organizers, the ILO 190, that's violence and sexual harassment at the workplace, the ILO convention C190. That's what we are talking about. So the TUC is embarking on a campaign for its ratification in Ghana. I'll take that again. That is the international labor organization ILO C190 that is violence and sexual harassment at the workplace 
you know, this is all something that happened sometime in 2019. But as a county, we are yet to ratify. And that's our conversation for this evening. I have been joined in the studio by Madame Na Ayele Adefiu Setra. She's in charge of PR and campaigns for the TUC, looking as lovely as always. <laughs> Pleasure to see you. I'm happy to be here. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Always a pleasure. We've also been joined by Joshua Abaka. He's Assistant Secretary, National Youth Council of the TUC. Hi, George. Great to see you. Same here. Great to see yeah, you. It's been a long time. It has been. It's been a while. It's, we, we don't have our conversations as often. Now the TUC is just flying and flying <laughs> and flying. Right? But I'm happy to see you. Always. Always. So, 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 so let's get straight into action. Mm -hmm. When did this happen? I need a bit of a background. Can we have okay. some background? Yes. So um, the harassment and uh, it's called the ILO Convention Number no. One Ninety, and we have nicknamed it C One Ninety. You know, for easy identification and mentioning. Actually, um, is a is a treaty, an international treaty, and it recognizes rights and freedoms at work. Mm. So when you are in a space working, you should be free to work. And it was um, uh, a treaty that uh, this violence free that was adopted in 2019. Mm. But it came on stream. So usually uh, when it is adopted, it is brought to the floor, discussed, blah, blah. So um, this is what uh, the uh, lawyers or the convention is, the bits and pieces of the convention all put together. Then it comes to the ILO. And you know they have committees that work on these things before it comes into the international labor, uh, uh, the ILC they call it. So mm -hmm. that is where they all meet in June, July. You know, all the countries come together to discuss. And after they have discussed it, countries say yes we want to ILO says we want to adopt it and this usually is made up of all workers mm. or the workers representatives which is ACTRA which we belong to and then the employers and then governments mm. so in 2021 it came on screen which means all of us have to take it as it is the C190 and go into our various countries to launch like actualize. we are launching yeah actualize. actualize it actualizing is having it in policy form, like the TUC has its sexual harassment uh, policy, so that the country itself has it as a policy in laws and in for uh, uh, implementation. Right. So usually uh, that's what happens with these conventions. And until the ratification, we can't actualize right. like right. you have. Right. Yeah. So, 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 so this campaign is mm -hmm. to ensure that we ratify we this ratify. convention, that we ratify. we ratify because at the top yes. we've all met yes. at a conference in yes. 2019 yes. and we've taken a decision yes. about sexual harassment and yeah, violence about, about in the workplace. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now we need Ghana yes. to adopt it yeah. yes. so that we can actualize. Yeah. Ghana Good has stuff. adopted but we, we have needs adopted. to ratify yeah. so that we can domesticate it. Yeah. I like that. We need yeah. Parliament to do that for I us. I like that. Yes. I absolutely like that. So yeah. the process would be for Parliament yeah. to yeah. come in. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. For Parliament to do that was for the ratification it must go through Parliament yes. and then Parliament passes it and then voila. Right. It's you know you know voila. the way it happens voila. in this country. Right. Nothing becomes law except it goes through Parliament. Parliament. We discuss it and they see that okay, yes, it's uh, what we can do. We need to uh, adopt this and make it our national law. So right. that is right. that is what is. Right. Right. Let, let, let me let me ask this question. Do you find that it is possible for us not to? I mean, it's been from 2019 to yeah. 2021, and now for right. It's, it's yeah. been a while. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find that th there's there's resistance for ratification? No, there's no resistance. In fact, right. there's not enough information and knowledge about the C190 right. in our domain. You know, so um, the launch is publicizing it. Create so, awareness. Yeah, create awareness, educate about it, etc. And remember, when these uh, are taken at the ILO level, you actually need to have the representative, the uh, partners in the IL ILC. The conference is uh, say, okay, this is what is coming. 
uh, to us as uh, countries they themselves need to be sensitized about whatever it is that is being brought to their table you know so when it comes to them they say oh so this is it so then the various countries and our country in fact all the countries are led by the ministries just like we have our employ employment ministry leading this so what we are doing as working people or as workers or as TUC or with his uh, friends organized labor would be to say this is what we're doing we're, we're launching we're pushing government to ratify this what do we have to do to support it is to launch to create awareness publicize so that all of us get to know that when you are in a space working you have the freedom to work and your employer is supposed to pay you at the end of the day very interestingly i found something let's go <laughs> let's go let's get into the meat of the conversation right be, be, because it is is the situation what's on the ground practically that that's the concept so, so so let's start with the definitions right when we speak about violence and harassment right. in the workplace mm -hmm. what do we mean specifically okay. right so a key point and i don't want to deviate so i'm going to go straight right. to the definition that's been given here c190 defines violence and harassment in the world of work as a range of unacceptable behaviors and practices whether a single occurrence or repeated that aims or results in or are likely to result in physical psychological sexual or economic harm hmm. and i mean it's very interesting because i wouldn't have thought that economic harm no. is also a big deal but we're being told is a big deal so you let's know. take them again physical yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. psychological, psychological mm -hmm. sexual, sexual economic four 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 okay. four and the interesting one is because we we're used to oh i'm being harassed at work somebody tapped my hand in a way i didn't like and honestly i didn't like the person to touch me so basically and almost always that's what we're looking at or confronted with mm -hmm. but here we've been told that's the physical it, yeah that's a physical all the sexual all the sexual all but the we sexual. never look at the psychological we never look at the psychological all the economic all the economic and psychological right. and economic tend to directly affect productivity in fact, all of them are fake. How do they manifest? Activity. How do I know that I am in psychological harm, mm -hmm. you know, in this space that I work? How would it manifest? Right. Economic harm. Right. How does it manifest? Okay, so before he comes in, I just want to um, paint this uh, picture for you. you. You came to work in the morning and your, your boss came, whatever his problem was from home, came yelling in the office just yelling you know he may have his own issues but not being able to to handle it uh, uh, maybe uh, calmly you know came yelling i mean throwing it all at your doorstep or on the table for something which is very insignificant and you wonder what you did to uh, have that uh, out uh, happen. Right. Yeah. You wonder what you... And how would you feel the whole day through? You know, so that's a psychological... How much are you going to uh, be effective the whole day? Because this thing keeps coming back to you again and again. Or you're in a group of colleagues. Eh? You're together with uh, uh, colleagues and somebody maybe calls you and or does something which they could have handled in a different way. Mm. And then it embarrasses you mm. all through. Like insult. Like insult. Sometimes it's not insult, but even the way the person responds Some to remarks. you. Yes. You think about it and think about it. And, and that's psychological. Mm. Or otherwise, as we always have, we normally hear of the men's harassment at work. But you hardly hear of the women. Some women also harass. Uh, uh, even younger ones harass men at work. So these are, and, and you don't want such a, it's uninvited. In fact, when you look at the TUC uh, harassment policy, right. it's, it's, it's an action that is uninvited. Right. And, and it's, no, it's uninvited, unwanted. Right. You know, so that is what uh, our policy says. Right. So once 
it is like that, it, 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 it actually sometimes traumatizes you. Right. You know. I'm looking around because I have one. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have Fine. one. Yes, I'm trying yes, to find saying... it on my <laughs> on my bookshelf. Right. You know the TUC's policy yes. on sexual oh, harassment. I wish I'd picked this up before you came. If I'd known it was going could, to you be, you could borrow mine. Yes, please let me allow me to borrow yours. Yes, <laughs> yes. yes. But I definitely have a copy. I'm just trying to figure out mm. where my copy is. Mm. Right. So there's a sexual harassment policy. Mm -hmm. um, stop sexual harassment. There you go. Stop sexual harassment, mm. right? For TUC, and anybody can pick, can yes, get one anybody, of this. Yeah, anybody, it's important. Pick, it's important. Yeah. I was going to ask a question about you know um, harassment mm -hmm. from women to men. Mm -hmm. You know, what how I dress, for mm -hmm. instance. If somebody comes to work mm -hmm. and is um, overly expressive, I'm trying to choose my words very carefully. Mm -hmm. um, if a woman comes to work and is showing things, mm -hmm. would that constitute? Um, sexual harassment from the woman to the man would, 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 uh, well, or psychological I, well, I would think on its own but I need to check and be sure but I know that exposure you know there's something in our statute books on exposure on exposing yourself mm. and uh, I, I think that can be criminalized right. I, I need to be sure we, 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 need, we, need to, we need to look for that so we'll come back and have that yes. conversation yes. Be, 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 because it's such a broad spectrum isn't it what will constitute harassing somebody right because because in as much as it is objective it's also pretty subjective yeah. mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. It so that's a conversation we need to come back and have right. but, 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 but let's get that sorry that say that mm -hmm. it's a cause for some of our politics Concern. to uh, help it uh, being ratified. Right. Ah. 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 So it's a big bowl of fish. Oof. It is. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But, but I have an example. Uh, I have a friend, mm -hmm. and she tells me that she's been to three companies to apply for a job. Unfortunately, all the three companies that she went into, the bosses want to have something to do with it. Before it's so day. common, and that has become the you know the thing we hear of every it's day. It's so common. She yeah. needs money to cater for her. Yeah, it's it's the most common thing. Mm -hmm. It's I mean if you don't put out, you yeah. won't get the job. It's the most common yeah. thing, and yeah. and it seems as though, and forgive me that I'm almost moving away from my topic, but that for me was why the side chick case was so important. Mm -hmm. I felt as though for once we had a fine opportunity mm -hmm. to legally mm -hmm. look at that issue. This thing that is worrying our young ladies. Yeah. That we had a fine opportunity mm -hmm. to for once address it. Mm -hmm. And we missed it mm -hmm. when we went looking at the moral. Maybe maybe we haven't missed it all together I we may so. come back to I it hope so. yeah. because it is a reality yes. it is yeah. where young is. girls yeah. have to put out mm -hmm. to get a job yes. if you don't do it but and it has you get the job norm. it drives everything now unfortunately. so young ladies now go to the workspace yes. ready to offer yeah, it exactly. so that they can get the they job they don't want to waste time yeah. Let me let you know that mm -hmm. I'm happy to give it. Exactly. So let's let's keep that part and go to the other issues, mm -hmm. right? And then, and then we turn around yeah. as hypocrites mm -hmm. and act as if we don't know that this is our subculture, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Is let's come to human rights and perspective. Like, sorry, it, I'm sorry, Josh. It, that one also affects this. Like, like, right. Mm -hmm. Right. In the workplace, you always see this person, this your boss, and then it rings a bell. And even when you see her to another lady, it rings a bell in your head. Mm -hmm. Hey, she was going to do it. Right. Like <laughs> right. It would definitely affect productivity. Yeah. Right. Definitely is going to affect right. productivity. So you have rivals in the workplace. Yes. In the workplace. Yeah. The women are each other's yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, And even the men. Right. Something that, oh, you're favored. So it must be due to. Right. Right. So. right. right. And that goes directly to the psychological. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't do it too you would suffer economically are going to suffer so, so with the ratification would come real punishments well yes so i mean uh, as part of uh, the policy mm. you would um, also adduce what should be done if we find such a situation right yes so the policy would include so in in our policy for example there are um, uh, measures. I don't know. I don't know if I should call them punishments. But then, if this happens, that should be the uh, uh, 
maybe the consequences. Yes, and that's what the policy and the laws would help us yeah. with. Because as it stands now, we don't know what to do. Yeah, we don't know what to we do. We don't know what to do. Yeah, because a lot of it is not cast in stone. It's the, it, it's it's not legal. Yeah, but it's yeah. wrong. It's, it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. And uh, people find it difficult to lead these kinds of conversations because of uh, the example you set up earlier, the side chick thing. You know, you 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 want to look at it, and everybody thinks, oh, you are the you are the odd one out. Or you are the only one who thinks you are, you know, high up there and so this and so that. But it's, I mean, it's, I mean, we have, we have as a, as a society, as a community, accepted. We we take in too much nonsense, so to speak, that it becomes the norm. I I I just wonder why we have to do that. You know, we, we you, you're very well aware what is going on is wrong. Yet you turn a blind eye, and then you turn round, and and the people who say no, I am not going to take this, become the bad ones. I mean, hey, everybody drives on the shoulder of the road, you know. And the people who are doing the right thing and in the queue are the wrong ones. They are the wrong ones. I mean, hello. It's wrong. It's wrong. And once it's, it's wrong, is, it it's is. wrong. Let, let's let, please give me oh, that please, one. Let's ratify. <laughs> you know, I like this one. Let oh, me hold it. Let me let, let, let's ratify it now. Yeah. Like now, yeah. now, 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 now. Let's ratify it now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. now, 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 now. Because we are doing so much harm, and we are normalizing what is not right. Yeah. It's yeah. wrong. It's wrong. So it's made all our young ladies unofficial. Permit me to say, prostitutes, mm -hmm. because they don't have a choice. They, have, they have, have to. Yes. yes. They have to. Yeah. And then we turn around and say, slave queens, the yeah. young girls are spoiled. Yeah. We made them yeah. so. Yeah. We made them so. Yes. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. Let's come to human rights perspective. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's talk about that. Well, uh, should I come to you, yes. Josh? Let's yes. let's look at the human rights perspective to this conversation because we've almost made it. You know. Um, what was the, this is not about human rights nobody even pays attention to you anymore you yeah. sound so idealistic mm. like ah uh, human rights what's she talking about what are you talking about right. what we discuss about right. is even human rights i have the right to say yes and to say no to it right. but in this stance you have nothing to say which is against your rights right. i have a right as, as a young girl yeah. that mm -hmm. has walked into an office looking for a job yeah. to not be sexually yeah. harassed Yes, it's a right. You have a right, and it, this is an international instrument. It emphasizes that right of yours. In fact, not just you, but all everybody. everybody's rights. Everybody's rights, whether they are um, physically challenged, whether they are tall, whether they are short, whether yeah. um, the word of race, yes. the word of religion, color. You know, everyone's rights, and it's a fundamental right. You know, to come into the space and say, "Hey, um, could I have this job to do? If you don't have it, you don't have it. Oh, I'm um, sorry, we don't have it. If we uh, get the opportunity, we may call you back." Finished. Finished. No strings attached. That's all. Finished. That's all. Right. I I shouldn't have to be admitted or denied mm. because of sexual favors. No. Or I shouldn't have to condone your bad behavior mm. just because you are a boss yeah, it's very myopic if you if you think deeply about it right. isn't it right it's because it's somebody's desire and it is such such uh i don't know which word to use but it's so um <laughs> i don't know it's so not on right so unconscionable wrong. even you know yeah it's right. unconscionable it's a big shame right. it's wrong right. It is, it is, it is, uh, I don't know, I don't want to use strong words. It's so terrible. Let's just, let's it's just terrible. And, and, and to the point you made about a boss being in a bad mood, and therefore, because yeah. there are places you work, and when the boss works, and everybody is trying to hide. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to see your boss. Is a, and, and people don't see that as, uh, he, and even he himself is a victim. You know, he, he, he's harassing everybody. He's traumatizing people. You know, he is not happy because he thinks he must lord it over everybody. You know, if you're the boss and there's everybody else you're working with, they're only your colleagues. 
you happen to be in a, a, a higher position they happen to be where they are you know so it doesn't make them any less human beings than you are absolutely absolutely so prevention and zero tolerance um yeah let, let's rush through them at this point like prevention and zero tolerance. another example <laughs> right these are real life issues a friend of mine i didn't even notice but she had a, a, a guy a boy and the boy is three years old now for now the mom is the one taking care of the boy she had to have an affair with her, with her boss after having an affair with the boss she got pregnant the boss said I'm, I'm not the one who did it obviously you have a boyfriend and you have others that mm -hmm. are doing the same thing to you these are conversations we shouldn't have to have at all the, you see that's the whole point so that's why i like these words it says all actors in the world of work must refrain from mm -hmm. prevent mm -hmm address mm -hmm. violence and harassment so you have to refrain from mm -hmm. you have to prevent mm -hmm. and then you have to address address you so know, all two actors. things yeah. all, all things including all the actors, including all everybody actors. you know and so if you are you are one harassing people well this is also for it's you for you you know and then you have to prevent you don't have to let it happen that is why some organizations say no husband wife relationship in this job when you come to work, it's work. It's you work. finish, right. you can have your relationship outside, right. that's fine. Right. You know, and then you, uh, uh, the last word is address. The, address. the addressing is in having a penal, uh, uh, whatever, instruments or laws or whatever, you know, to, to, to remedy the situation to ensure that if it has happened, well, we don't want it so we must prevent it let's not happening. sweep it under the carpet no. pretend as if it didn't exactly. happen exactly right yeah, exactly. but i also like the prevent because and 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 forgive me for what i'm about to say i, I find that often i mean the young lady would say oh you know as if to say she doesn't have a choice she does not have but, a choice. But, but, but we have a responsibility to prevent it, to from, prevent happening. it from happening. And unfortunately, the majority of us in the space, in the workspace, are not even aware that this is not supposed to happen to us. Right. That's another thing. Right. Which is why, for right. me, the launch is crucial. Right. The launch brings everybody in the same space on the same level etc et absolutely i mean we can't overstate the issue of health and well-being yeah you know and, and i'd want you to briefly look at that you know the impact on the health of the individual but also the health of the organization and subsequently the health of the nation the if nation. all of these things keep going on yeah so uh, setting an example of my friend the lady that i'm talking about She's still in the workplace. Mm -hmm. She has a charge for the yeah. for the boss, which the boss has denied. You can imagine the relationship yeah. now. And there's a whole too. human and, being. And how this individual feels. My goodness, there's yeah. a whole human being walking around that is testament yeah. of something that should not have happened. Yeah. Which how is she even going to see men from that mm -hmm. on, onset? Right, mm -hmm. right, right. right. Mm -hmm. Now the relevance to sustainable enterprise. I leave that to you, Matt right okay so again let me go to what the ILO itself says that violence and harassment are incompatible with promotion and su of sustainable enterprise so we have been talking and we say if such things happen in your workplace it doesn't help productivity you know the organization doesn't grow because there are people in there who are who have defects emotional problems who and they come to work not given their all I work in a space where I enjoy going to work and I work with passion because I love what I do and I'm encouraged, you know, you're told, hey, it's been a while since you uh, upgraded yourself, when are you doing that next? You know, so you have to be in a space where you're free to work, where you love to come to work, to where flourish. you love to, to, to flourish, where flourish. you interact with your colleagues and you want to give flourish. your all to the organization. That is the kind of thing that we're talking about. You know, so you may think, oh, sexual harassment. No, it's not about the sex thing. Yes, it is about the sex thing. You know, but not that only. You know, there's so many things involved in it. There are many implications. Absolutely. For the growth of what do you want us to know about tomorrow's campaign? How may we contribute? What do you want us to do? Right. 
So what we want to do, or what we want you as an individual to do, is to look for information. Look for information. That there's information about That's where we took all our information from, from the ILO website, if you have the opportunity. But otherwise, we're tuned into radio, we're tuned into TV. And as an individual, you have heard this conversation. How do you take it forward as an, as an ordinary Ghanaian? You know, to the next person, maybe your grandma, your grandpa, your friend, your child, who hasn't had this conversation. That if we're in the space together, we all need to guard the space so that we can grow together. Because it's your bit, my bit, which makes Ghana grow. Absolutely. Yeah. In addition, Absolutely. tomorrow, right. all the way from Geneva, mm -hmm. I have are coming. In fact, yeah. they're already here in Ghana yes. right. for tomorrow. Yeah. And we have the Minister for Employment and Labor Relations also available to come tomorrow. Right. And aside that, the general secretaries of the various affiliate unions mm -hmm. of the TEC are also participating. Right. They tell us Where are we coming? Uh, the to the TUC Hall. The TUC Hall, Hall. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. That is Wednesday. That's yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. What time? Incidentally, it is a closed program. Oh, okay. So uh, those who are required to be there and those who have received the invitation. Oh, yes. Invitation only. Yes, invitation. But we'll keep our ears only. open. Please but but there's a float on 29th. Yes. Okay. There's, there's a float on 29th, 29th in okay. five regions right. of the country with the right. ILO things right. must you know, start the floats and the campaigns right now. And so they are going to take the lead and then subsequently others, other regions may follow. Thank you. Yeah. Well, Thank you so much. I, I, every time I, I, I meet TEC, I tell you, I love what you do. I love what you do. Somebody needs to speak for labor. Somebody needs to speak for the average Ghanaian. Yeah. And I think you do that brilliantly. Thank you so much. Thank you too. So viewers, this is our position. We need we need for that ratification of the ILO C-190 to happen now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>